It feels like winter outside, but it's still fall. We don't want to forget our fall holidays when we're starting to decorate our homes. Joining us now with the latest in fall home trends, we have Melanie Iverson back on the show, CEO and lead designer for Mosaic Design and Build. Melanie, welcome back to the show. Hey, Lisa, it's always so great to see you. Thanks so, for having me. So great to see you, too. You have such great style, so we want to pick your brain a little bit uh, for some of the fall trends in home decor. Uh, let's start with uh, what you're seeing for trendy pieces for our fall uh, colors. Yeah, everything that I'm seeing right now is really the desert neutral palette. Um, I'm seeing a lot of soft blushes, terracotta, sage. I mean, all of these outdoor um, colors coming in, but they're very neutral. I feel like they're a little bit more sophisticated than our standard, really bright colors. So it's it's really pretty. You can see in that photo that um, it's it really goes together quite nicely and they blend well, but you can still have color. I'm very much a color person. I love those colors, and you're right. I was thinking that too. Very sophisticated. Mm -hmm. um, you can still have your orange pumpkins, you yeah. know, and, and do that outside in your scarecrow. But uh, these are kind of a different look. You don't, however, if you don't like orange, you don't have to do orange too. That's right. No, I mean I've seen even just shopping around town. I've seen a lot of woven, um, woven textures, and so you can get a, a little pumpkin that's just like woven, or a little white pumpkin if you want to forego that traditional orange. Um, it just kind of, just kind of grows it up just a skosh. Grow? Did you say grows it up a little bit? It does. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, so I know um, earthy tones, we kind of covered earthy tones. Um, how about bringing the outside in? What do you mean by that? Yeah, so I'm gonna grab what I have here. Um, just, I decorated my mantle last night so that I could show you guys what I'm doing in my own home. Um, we have got, these are the earthy tones. We've got some pompous grass that I am seeing literally everywhere. I bought this at Handpicked Goods downtown, but I mean, truly you could go to your florist. You could really go anywhere to get that. Mine shedded a little bit. So I just sprayed it with some hairspray. So if you want to bring something outdoors like this in and you want it to stay intact, I would, I would just use a little bit of your hairspray. And then there's just a few more grasses here that are the mustard color, that blush. And again, that wool, um, that wool tone here. So it's really cute. You could put it on a, a table. You could put it on your mantle. Um, something else that I like to do is put it on a coffee table. So I grabbed this tray and just a little tiny book that I um, just grabbed at Home Goods that has those natural colors as well, the terracotta, the green, the blush. And um, yeah, I mean, just seriously, you could set it on your coffee table and walk away. It looks great. I love that. It's kind of DIY as well. So it is. Yeah. you don't have to spend a lot of money to put together something like that. You don't. No, and it really only takes a couple a couple small things around the house. Um, one thing that I really love right now is that eucalyptus green. It is so soft, and I think it's going to transition beautifully into our winter and Thanksgiving uh, tablescapes. And so I love bringing the eucalyptus in. Um, as pictured here, I grabbed some uh, blush pillows that I thought were beautiful, and then a huge knit, chunky wool um uh, blanket I think so I mean right now it's freezing but it is still fall and so we can still have these really beautiful textured pieces that are truly going to transition into the winter quite nicely yeah can we talk about that because I was thinking when we talk about fall decor and I you know yeah. I said pumpkins on your patio and, and jack-o-lanterns but some of these pieces really work for Halloween into Thanksgiving so you don't have to do two different looks no, and I, I'm pretty low maintenance. I'm, I'm more of a minimalist when it comes to decorating for some of these seasons. And so I like to grab things that have texture that really do transition throughout the seasons. Um, even something like this pillow that has the palms on it. It's an oatmeal color. It's going to work really nice right now in the fall, but truly I could grab an emerald green pillow or a red pillow this Christmas and just dress it up a little bit and just change out a couple small things. You don't need to entirely redecorate um, just to give the warmth and the texture that fall has for us. Oh, that's budget friendly. It works for fall and you can still stick it in there with your Christmas pillows as well. <laughs> 
I love that. Yeah. Okay, well, we are out of time, so we have to have you back on some great options for uh, fall decor inside our homes. Uh, Melanie, as always, thank you so much for joining us. And if you want any uh, style you. ideas, you can get a hold of Melanie through Mosaic Designs. Thank you so much. Thanks so much, Lisa. We'll see you. We'll be right back here on North Dakota Today. <laughs>